in. Let's check in with Carlene. You know, usually I'm an advocate for colder weather. I like to put the sweaters on, but <laughs> yes. I'm kind of done with it now. I'd like some sunshine <laughs> and warmer temperatures. I'm right there with you. I love sweaters, scarves, putting on my boots and everything, but now I'm just like, okay, come on. <laughs> Let's just warm up. Let's start to feel like spring. So that's exactly what's going to happen. Carrie and I will definitely enjoy this weekend with all that sunshine out there and the warmer temperatures that are in store. And it doesn't look to be a fluke. We're going to talk about some warmer temperatures even next week. Taking a look at our Mount Soledad camera from our Mount Soledad camera, it's a gorgeous evening. We are seeing right along the coast the waves crashing as well as uh, some haziness out there, but still a whole lot of sunshine. 61 degrees currently for downtown. We have relative humidity at 56% and light winds out of the northwest at 8 miles per hour. We did start off the day with the cloud cover still holding strong and also still squeezing out a few showers. When all is said and done, we had hundreds of an inch. That was for Carlsbad at five hundredths of an inch, one hundredth of an inch. That was for Encinitas, four hundredths of an inch for downtown. More than that and more than a tenth of an inch, that was the case for Ramona as well as for Valley Center. So this is over a 24 hour period, even had some snow and that was around 5,800 feet for Palomar Mountain. Half an inch of snow did fall with our recent storm system and close to an inch of rainfall for Lake Coyamaca. Now we're talking about drier conditions right behind that storm system is exiting out and producing uh, scattered showers as well as some snow across the four corners and will continue to push towards the east. So high pressure is going to build in right behind that, bringing in the drier air for this weekend. A lot of sunshine as well and something else be mindful of by tomorrow afternoon. Having a surface high over the Great Basin is going to trigger some weak Santa Ana winds in the mountains. And so gusts getting into the 20s and also the low 40s. That range will be by tomorrow afternoon impacting for our mountains. But as I mentioned, it's going to be a weak event, but we do have a stronger one by next week. Taking a look at your highs for tomorrow. 70s look to return more widespread. 75 degrees will be the high for Escondido. 78 degrees for El Cajon, as well as downtown at 72 degrees. We'll still be in the upper 60s right along the North County coast and right back into those 80s for Borrego Springs. We have uh, the wave heights up to about four feet for this weekend. Also a moderate risk of rip currents at our local beaches. And if you're going to be out there right along the coast, keep in mind, we do have a high UV index, so if you're going to be outdoors this weekend soaking in the sunshine, definitely slather on that sunscreen. 70s this weekend for the coast, as well as the 70s and 80s for the inland valleys. We're warming up yet again by next week. Dry conditions on Wednesday and return of some stronger Santa Ana winds. 90s making a comeback for the desert on Monday. Let's go ahead and take a look at that weather quiz question for tonight. How much of the Earth's land area is comprised of a desert? Is it A, 1 8th, B, uh, one tenth, C one fifth, or D one seventh. I, I just threw some numbers in there. All right, but one of them is right. <laughs> I will tell you that. Uh, just head to cbs8.com slash weather quiz to make your guess. If you are the lucky winner, you could win a prize of $1,500 gift card provided by Kohl's Fly Fine Flooring, sponsored by Corky's. It can be used towards the purchase of a carpet. Also, we're talking about hardwood, a luxury vinyl, laminate tile, or an area rug. You get your new weather quiz question Monday through Friday during this newscast in our 7 a.m. And you have until next week. We are wrapping up the month, so good luck.